Hi, I'm Catherine McQueen and welcome to Pink Diamond, the show that digs deep into the pink sheet and small cap markets to find diamonds in the rough. Today, we're back to the laboratory with a company that our track star data shows has been one of the most viewed stocks online in January and is already up 17% this year. VBI Vaccines is a biopharmaceutical company that develops and sells vaccines that combat infectious disease and immuno-oncology in Israel and around the world. The Massachusetts-based company offers a hepatitis B vaccine for adults, children and newborns and EVLP, a vaccine platform for the design of enveloped virus-like particle vaccines that closely mimic the structure of the target virus. It's been a busy year for the firm reporting positive results from recent medical tests on its products that have the potential to unlock significant commercial potential. Also, the firm announced that it received notice from the NASDAQ listing qualification Office indicating that the company has regained compliance with the minimum bid price requirement under NASDAQ listing rules and the matter is now closed. Previously, VBI had been notified by NASDAQ that the company's closing bid price per share had been below $1 for a period of 30 consecutive business days and that the company did not meet the exchange's minimum price bid requirement. Looking to the financials, we can see that the firm has a negative return on assets of negative 48%. That sounds like a lot, but it is only slightly worse than the sector average. The firm's Petrosky F score is 6, which is neutral and indicates average health and profitability. In case you're wondering, the Petrosky F score is a discrete score between 0 to 9 that reflects 9 criteria used to determine the strength of a firm's financial position. Valuation-wise, when comparing VBI's current price to the book value, it looks like it is priced correctly. Comparing VBI's price book ratio to the industry average price book ratio of 3.84, the firm is valued in line with its industry peers. Growth-wise, the firm is expected to show a strong growth in its earnings per share. In the coming two years, the EPS is forecast to grow by 56.62% a year. Revenue has grown by 396.67% in the past year. This is a very strong growth. The firm appears to be in good health with a positive current and quick ratios, suggesting the firm does not have too many problems with meeting its short-term obligations. The debt-to-equity ratio and the Altman Z-score a credit strength test that gauges a publicly traded manufacturing company's likelihood of bankruptcy are both in line with industry averages. Moving on to the technicals, both the long and short term trends are positive and VBI is one of the better performing stocks in the drugs industry, outperforming 90% of 638 stocks in the industry. The stock looks to have made a bottom at 50 cents in Q4 2019 before rallying into the new year. The long term moving averages appear to be heading towards a golden cross, although momentum is dipping out of overbought territory. That's all we have time for this week. But remember, always do your due diligence before making any investment decisions.